Hi friends, this is a new exercise of Android, which we will do a, a browser and for example go to facebook.com okay and it will direct to it to facebook it's a simple browser it's like a browser that you commonly use in your in your cell phone and here's the back the forward and update buttons and also we have the home button that opens Google here Google okay let's do this browser in App Inventor uh, this is other channel uh, I invite you to subscribe it also uh, in the video uh, will be a little subscribe button you just have to click it and you will subscribe it okay go to app inventor create a new project it will cause a browser i'll put the screen orientation in landscape add a layout horizontal and here put field parent file parent and here we put uh, four buttons one is the back update forward and home and here put their names or symbols it's back uh, oopt or update Oop. the forward and in the home I will put uh, an H uh, put a text box and here in the hint put URL example um, I don't know maybe uh, google.com It will appear here instead of this. Instead of this, it will say URL example google.com. Okay, and here our go button. Uh, I put go. Uh, for this, also put file parent to adapt the, the screen size and now aggregate a web viewer and file parent in both and now I will change the the button's name button 1 is back and the second I will put update third I will put next and four I put home and the last one I will put go okay now in in blocks okay first uh, initialize global a uh, variable uh, we put URL and create empty list it will save all the URLs to get back or something and another variable it will be a counter to know in which list item we are we initialize in zero and when screen initialize uh, we'll add uh, data to the list. The first data that we'll aggregate will be the home page, uh, for example, Google. The home page. Put a get 
um, select the global URLs. The item it's gonna be the the home URL. So put web viewer and home URL. And it's to create increase in one the counter. We put a set to the global count and a math zoom. Here put that the global count here count add in one here put uh, one okay uh, in design I will put the the home page click here and I will put HTTP colon double diagonal bing dot com for another example bing dot com uh, with this we have added the the first data the home page and now when go click we'll aggregate a new URL to the list so first what will we do it's redirect to the join URL in, in web viewer put go to URL here in URL put a join why a join because before the domain it's an HTTP uh, HTTPS and without this HTTP uh, some colon double diagonal it won't direct to any page and here on the text add this and put HTTP colon double diagonal and with this will work correctly and now here here's gonna be in the the page so in text box put this text box that text but also we need to save the the URL if you want to be to get back or next page for this we put a set home URL so and duplicate this we duplicate this and paste it here and also we need to add it the to the list so we put the same in here and I duplicate this to have another counter I duplicate this to get another counter and I'll dismiss uh, this to work uh, better okay now we will work with uh, back with this we will get back one data on the list so put when back click um, web viewer and go to URL and here we put the the previous data from the list and select uh, list select list and item list and put the list you uh, are a list in index is the counter but decreasing in one we put a mat subtraction mat subtraction to the count variable we decrease in one and with this it will redirect to the previous page we put the home URL and also duplicate this and now we will do the the next
with this when we when we click on next if we are on the item 5 uh, get back to the item 4 and then from this 4 get next to the item 5 not from the 5 to 6 that's because we need another counter uh, to get the current value from the counter 1 for this we put a get uh, sorry a set but with the, the count 2 and it will have the same math operation up here and with this we could get back and we could get back correctly and increasing one now duplicate this but change this to next but instead here we'll decrease put to increase so we will delete this and change it here one but with count two here another and count two also this we put here and count two okay this is all and now we do the update the update has to to refresh the current page and when so put when update click go to URL and in URL put the the home URL and for update it's so now we do the the home when home click here is almost the same but the page will be in a text as the default page as a default page it's gonna be http two points double diagonal and bing dot com and set home url and the same text And also aggregate aggregate it to the to the list and the counter too. And that's all. Now just build the app and install it. Build app. Okay, I have already installed. This is our browser. Here you see the, the example, google.com uh, Okay, let's do an example, youtube.com And here is youtube uh, Another example, uh, google.com And go And here is it But uh, if we, we get back it redirect redirect to, to YouTube. If we click and on update. It reflects YouTube. Next, and it shows Google. In Home, it's Bing. Okay, that's all. This browser is so useful because I it don't save any temporal data, no browser history or or cookies. Because when you close the the app. All the data delete automatically and the app it's more more fast okay um, 
here that's all for the video please subscribe and share the video in in social networks uh, and please help us by clicking uh, on the ads uh, in the description will be the our social networks and okay see you in next videos okay bye